Let's talk about exporting Visio diagrams and searching them within the browser just to show off some of the advanced functionality of Visio's save as web page functionality. So I've started a drawing here. I'm going to finish it a little bit for you. Uh, I've just created three basic shapes that have some text on them. And just to show off using the drawing tools, I'm going to get the line tool here and finish this diamond to get things going. It has a black fill color, it has light gray text, so that's good. What I also want to do is add some shape data to these three shapes to show how the search function works as well. So let's right click here and say define shape data and we'll add another property called color and that's a string type and we'll just say OK. So each of these shapes now has a color shape data field and we should type in values for that. So I'm going to say black for the diamond, blue for the square, and for the circle I'll say gray. Okay, so we've got text on the shape, text behind the shape in the form of shape data, and let's go to save it as a web page. Now normally we go to the save and send and then we go to change file type and way down here to web page. But you can go straight to save as instead and save yourself a step. You just have to pick web page, not web drawing, but web page if you can find it in the list. There it is, it's about halfway down. And the advantage of, advantage of going to save as is that save as starts in the directory where your Visio drawing is saved, whereas the save and send doesn't. It might start in your documents folder or something like that. So if you like to save your web page in the same folder as the Visio drawing like I do, save as is actually quicker. There's a lot less mouse clicking. You just have to be able to find web page in this list. So once you've done that, you can see we'll just take the, the name of the Visio file as the name of the web page and we'll say save. And up comes our very simple drawing published as a web page. We'll allow the blocked content. And you can see that if I can control click on each shape, the shape data field shows up here on the left. Now down here we've got search pages, and that allows us to search a drawing. So what happens if we type in, say, square? You'll see that we've got search results for square. I can expand the result and it says square has color blue. If I type in blue and hit this, you can see that the square still comes up. So that means not only the text of the shape being searched, but also the shape data. Let's try type in diamond, hit the green arrow, and you can see the diamond is found, a diamond shape. And if we click on the diamond, you'll see that Visio puts a little arrow up to show us where the the search result is. Now the name of this shape data field is color, so let's see what happens if we type color in. Nothing is found. So it appears that the web search searches shape text, it searches shape data fields, and that's about it. But that's and that's pretty good. 